Mankind has often erected monuments for one reason or another, be it the legendary Stonehenge or the equally notorious structures that populate Easter Island. While some of these monuments, notably those from modern times, have their purpose well documented, others have their purpose long forgotten to time. And there are some where we simply cannot understand how they came to be in the first place. These are 15 most mysterious monuments that cannot be explained. Number 15. Mystery of Alien Gargoyle Located in a Church Gargoyles are not an uncommon sight on churches. In fact, they were often put in place with water spouts to protect them from the elements. More commonly, however, they formed the shapes of gargoyles, demons, and other ugly creatures to ward against evil spirits and remind churchgoers of the repercussions of their sins. But the gargoyle present on Paisley Abbey isn't like anything else you would have seen, and people are curious as to why it looks like a xenomorph from the Alien movies. What's a xenomorph doing on a 12th century church? Paisley Abbey is a Gothic church that was built as a monastery in 1163. It was where King Robert II of Scotland was born and had many gargoyles encompassing the upper ledges. All of the other gargoyles look as they should, but one in particular looks like a 70s and 80s horror movie villain. Unfortunately, this is one of many mysteries that cannot be explained. A reverend of the church said all but one gargoyle was replaced in the 1990s, and the mason is not known. He may have been a fan of the film and wanted to bring a bit of humor to his work, or it was simply a coincidence. We may never know. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all it will take about 5 seconds to complete. Uh, let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Fortune. Try it, it actually works. Now it's time for the odd topic. What you see before you in this image is a gargoyle sat atop a building. Not that much of a big deal, you may think. There are gargoyles the world over after all. But this gargoyle is a little different to most others. Why? Well, most gargoyles were built hundreds of years ago and sit atop religious structures. But this one was built in the 1990s atop a bank, and we say the word built lightly because there's no record of this thing ever being constructed or even requested. It simply turned up one night. The bank manager came into work one day to see it just sat there, having never been there previously. Some people think it may be one of Banksy's most out there projects to date. Others think the bank manager is lying through his teeth and it's all some kind of dumb publicity stunt. What do you think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 14. Giant Stone Head of Guatemala In the 1950s, in a Guatemalan jungle, someone stumbled across a giant head made of stone. As the area had only seen pre-Hispanic races, the broad nose and thin lips were intriguing. The stone face was also directed skyward. At the time of the discovery, all eyes were on this stone head. It was unique, intriguing, and rare. However, people have short memories, and it soon became old news, with no one sparing a thought for what it could mean. Roll the clock forward to 1987, and Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara, a notary, lawyer, and philosophy doctor, saw a photo of the head. He set off in search of the stone head, only to find that revolutionaries had destroyed it a decade prior. According to Dr. Dr. Lara, anti-government rebels had used it as target practice. Its eyes, nose, and mouth were destroyed, and it was entirely disfigured. Even though it was marred, Dr. Lara was able to determine that it was between 4 and 6 meters tall. He didn't linger around long to find out more, as there were rebel and government attacks in the area. The area is actually famous for stone heads, as the Olmec civilization created them left, right, and center. However, none of them look like this one which makes people wonder who created it, why, and what it may have been used for. We may never know. 
Number 13. Yanaguni Monument Any new or previously undiscovered monument is exciting, but imagine the shock a group of divers had off the coast of Ryukyu Island when they found a monument under the water in 1987. Since the monument's discovery, there's been a lot of debate over whether it's a natural rock formation or one crafted by man. It features stone pillars 16 to 130 feet under the water, platforms, a triangle shape later called the turtle, and walls. Even though the area is treacherous for diving, it hasn't stopped many an adventurer from navigating the area to see if they can form their own opinion. Some people believe that strong currents eroded the rock to form shapes, but others can't fathom how sharp rectangle edges could be etched out by water. It's laden with 90 degree angles, square corners, and even sections of rock that look almost like human faces. Coincidence? Likely not. But experts have delved in on what the more rational reasoning behind it is. University of the Ryukyu's professor Masaki Kiura believes it's around 2,000 years old and is human-made. He also thinks it wasn't underwater when it was built. Number 12. Gosex Circle In 1991, Otto Brasch was carrying out a routine aerial survey near Gosek, a small town in Germany, when he stumbled across something unique. A circular formation under a wheat field that had become visible in the area's drought season. It contained a 246-foot ditch, two palisade rings with entrances to the sunrise and sunset on winter solstice days, and smaller ones for the summer solstice. It was thought to date back to 4900 BC which means it was most likely used as a lunar or solar calendar, and one of the oldest like it in the world. Experts believe the Gosek Circle predates ancient Egyptian pyramids and Minoan civilization. The first European civilization may have created it. Given the existence of headless skeletons, ritual fires, and animal bones surrounding the site, those experts also deduced that Gosek Circle played a role in rituals. Number 11. Ancient Rock Ship of Asuka Asuka is a village in Takaichi District in Japan's Nara Prefecture. It's an ancient land, boasts incredible historical interest, and is well known for its unique burial mounds in the Tumulus period, meaning Old Mound period. The most popular burial mounds of this time were key-shaped with moats, but there's one that stands out more than most, and it can't be explained. It goes by the name of the ancient rock ship of Masuda, and, as the name suggests, it looks like a boat. The ancient rock ship stands proudly on a hill top in Asuka. It spans 36 feet long, 26 feet wide, and it weighs around 800 tons. It also has a flat top, two carved three-foot square holes, and a ridge line that sits parallel to these holes. Lattice-like indentations are dotted along its base, which could be reflective of the process the creators used to flatten the rock sides. The ancient rock ship cannot be explained because no one knows what it is, what it does, who made it, when, and for what purpose. There are far more questions than answers. Some people believe it was used as an astronomical observation point, but that has all but been disproven. I guess we'll never know. Why or how this colossal stone and others like it were crafted remains a mystery, as they appear to be of a different architectural style than the later period Buddhist construction. Number 10. Mysterious Dolmens of Russia The Western Caucasus is at the western end of the Caucasus Mountains, northeast of the Black Sea, and incorporates over 275,000 acres of land. It's a breathtaking part of Russia and has not been significantly impacted by humans. However, within its dramatic, untouched landscape lies thousands of megalithic structures that Russians have called dolmens, which translates to portal tombs. Archaeologists have no idea who built them, where they found the stone, or what they're for. While Russians call them tombs, there isn't a lot of research to back up the claim that their primary purpose was ever for burial. What they do know is that they weigh between 15 and 30 tons each, are up to 6,000 years old, and that there are around 3,000 of them in the Western Caucasus. If it's not the site of thousands of dolmens dotting the landscape that are a mystery, then how they got there certainly is. There are no paths to determine heavy materials were brought to the site, nor is there any evidence of quarries nearby. The precision and advancement of the dolmens are also remarkable. Builders tried to reconstruct them using modern and high-precision tools in 2007, but even with technology, they were never able to recreate them to the same precision of the Bronze Age builders. So there are a lot of question marks surrounding these dolmens. 
An archaeologist by the name of Vladimir Markovin believes those who built the dolmens lived in mud huts, cultivated their lands with hoes, and had no knowledge of pottery wheels or iron. Locals will tell you another, less likely story about giants who built the little stone dwellings for dwarves who rode around on hares. But the more likely purpose for these dolmens is that they were a place of worship or burial. We may just never know how they did it. Number 9. Apocalyptic Message It's quite uncommon to come across modern-day monuments of which no one knows the purpose or origins. So it was quite strange to know that a 16-foot-tall structure known as the Georgia Guidestones popped up in northeastern Georgia without most people knowing what it was for, what it represented, and who put it there. The Georgia Guidestones Monument sits on a barren mountain 750 feet above sea level. It's 90 miles from Atlanta, 45 miles from Athens, and 9 miles from the center of Georgia. It was erected in 1980 and consisted of 5 20-ton slabs of granite with 8 languages. The languages that feature on the monument are English, Spanish, Chinese, Russian, Arabic, Hebrew, Swahili, and Hindi. There are also ancient languages such as Egyptian hieroglyphics. The languages appear as a set of 10 guide stones that appear to be there in case of an apocalypse. The monument can act is a helping hand for those who are trying to rebuild civilization. Its position tracks the east-west migration of the sun year-round, and it has holes in it to identify the North Star. An anonymous group organized the design and installation of the monument. A man, under the pseudonym of Robert C. Christian, contacted the Elberton Granite Finishing Company in 1979 and requested help with the monument. It had to function as a clock, calendar, and compass, and withstand events of a catastrophic nature. The business owner, Joe Fendley, thought Robert was a little bit nuts and discouraged the project by inflating the quote far higher than any other project he had taken on. Surprisingly, Robert accepted the price and the monument's construction went ahead. The group behind the monument wanted to remain anonymous, but it would help if they could explain what the structure was for. Some people believed it bears end-of-the-world messages, while others think it's a tool for rebuilding civilization. To this day, it remains a complete mystery. Number 8. Mysterious Underwater Ruins some call it Cleopatra's Palace, and others think it's the lost city of Atlantis. Whatever the ancient city of Heraklion is, it's pretty impressive. About 1,200 years ago, Heraklion, an ancient city in Egypt, disappeared beneath the Mediterranean Sea. It was thought that rising sea levels and possibly earthquakes contributed to its loss. Before them, in around 800 BC, it had been the port for ships coming from the Greek world. Before archaeologist Frank Gaudio from the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology discovered it in 2000, no traces of this city had ever been found. It was written about in rare classic texts and inscriptions, but it was otherwise thought to be lost forever. Thanks to advanced surveying equipment, Frank was able to locate, map, and excavate the city under 150 feet of water. It forms 6 to 9 miles of a research area in West Abu Kir Bay. If it isn't exciting enough to discover a city, it's even more so if you can declare that the statues and artifacts within it are from the royal palace of Cleopatra. Frank Gaudio's divers discovered marble floors, columns, kilns, and basins, not to mention walls, dressed limestone, and colossal statues of gods, goddesses, and pharaohs. While it's never been proven with certainty that it's Cleopatra's palace, it's an exciting find all the same. Number 7. The Garden of Eden The Gobekli Tepe, which is considered the world's oldest temple discovered to date, is regarded by many to be the lost location of the Garden of Eden, or at the very minimum, a temple within the Garden of Eden to signify its historical importance. The Gobekli Tepe is in southern Turkey, north of Syria's border. It consists of three megalithic stone circles and is thousands of years older than the first stone circle at Stonehenge. It has 20 stone rings that are more than 11,000 years old, T-shaped limestone blocks, and a myriad of different inscriptions. Perhaps the most intriguing part of this mysterious monument is that it doesn't appear to have been used as living quarters. There are no fire hearths, animal remains from domestic pets, or buildings. Experts can only gather that it had religious importance. It also wasn't a monument that was whipped up in half a day. In the center of the limestone block circles are two 18-foot 
foot-tall pillars, incredible detailing and artistry, and carvings into bedrock down to around four feet. A lot of care and effort had gone into creating this structure. Therefore, it's interesting to note that even with all this hard work, those who created it then buried it. Was it a sacrifice to the gods? Was it out of shame? Did they not want it to see the light of day? Gobekli Tepe is undoubtedly a mysterious monument without any explanation. Number 6. The Real Temple of Doom? It's almost unheard of. A city that's been discovered not just once, but twice. Tawatiwakan is a ruined city of palaces and pyramids on the outskirts of Mexico City. Its name doesn't come from those who built it, however, but from those who found it, the first time. The Aztecs discovered the city 500 years after it was abandoned and named it Tawatiwakan 200 years later, which means the place where the gods were created. While the name was probably quite fitting in their eyes, it was also a bit of a tongue twister, which discouraged people from saying it and thus discovering it again. Tawatiwakan is a bit of a mystery. There are no written records and no one knows why it was abandoned in around 450 AD. It was then discovered again for the second time after a 30-inch hole opened up in the ground. In the hole, there was a 330-foot passageway, carved conch shells, ceramic pottery, jade, precious stones, ancient cloth and almost everything an archaeologist could ever dream of finding. Everything was neatly stacked and ready for exploration. The stone known as Mika was also everywhere, which was a bit of a mystery considering this mineral was only found 3,000 miles away in Brazil. Archaeologists may not have a lot of answers about Tawatiwakan yet, but that's not to say they won't make some miraculous discoveries in the future. Watch this space. Number 5. Sea of Galilee Monument A routine seabed survey turned into an incredible discovery in 2003 when Israeli archaeologists stumbled across an ancient structure under the waves of the Sea of Galilee. The structure, which contained thousands of volcanic basalt stones in a cone-shaped structure, was thought to have been built on dry land 6,000 years ago. It weighed around 60,000 tons, stood 39 feet tall, and was at least 230 feet in diameter. These dimensions mean this previously undiscovered and mysterious monument was six times heavier than the Eiffel Tower and twice as big as Stonehenge. The mysterious monument looks like a rock cairn, which consists of stone piles piled up on each other and often used to mark burials. However, researchers are unsure whether it was used for this purpose. What they do know is that it was built on land and ended up in the water when sea levels rose. To this day, no one knows what it was, who built it, and whether it was for rituals, burials, or something else. Number 4 Stone Spheres of Costa Rica If you've ever traveled to Costa Rica, then you may have been fortunate enough to view one of the country's most mysterious discoveries firsthand. The country is dotted with hundreds of near-perfect stone spheres, and no one knows why. The stone spheres were first located in the Dyquis Delta near the Southern Caribbean. They've now been found almost everywhere in the country. They're as small as a few inches to as large as 80 inches in diameter. Some are also as heavy as 16 tons. Mostly, they're all made of the same materials granodiorite igneous rock, and all by hand. Aside from being unique, people are also in awe at how perfect they are. Even though they're crafted by hand, with signs of the tools used to make them still on the stone, they are nearly perfectly round. Some are up to 96% round. They're also smooth, likely sanded down with leather or sand. The stone balls were discovered as early as 1943, but are thought to be as old as 200 BC or from the 1500s when the Spanish arrived. While no one knows where they come from or what they represent, some people believe they were brought here by aliens or have some connection to the lost continent of Atlantis. Number 3 Mysterious Message from the Incas The Seyhuit Monument in Peru is so unusual and unique that there are several different and valid theories for what it could be. Known as the Seyhuit Monolith, it's a giant 800-ton rock that spans 36 feet in circumference, has a 26-foot diameter, and is almost 10 feet tall. It also consists of four stone sectors and over 200 geometric figures, including felines, frogs, and reptiles. What on earth could it be? Its purpose and origin have been under debate for years. 
we may be able to get some answers from its name, Sayhuit. Sayhuit comes from Quechua language, which was spoken by ancient people in the area. The first part of the word can be translated to mean a rock signifying a milestone. The second part can mean wrong turn to divert or discovery. Loosely, Sayhuit can come to mean the rock that signifies discoveries or changes over time. Some people say it was used for ceremonies, while others believed it represented an irrigation system, making it a topographic model. Others believe it represents three Peruvian regions. Sayhuit Monument, to this day, remains a mystery. Number 2. Puma Punku the Temple of Puma Punku near Tuanaku, Bolivia is thought to be one of the most incredible ancient ruins in South America. From the precision cuts that show advanced ancient engineering to the inclusion of geometry and math, it's unbelievable both to look at and explore. Puma Punku covers a significant part of Tiwanaku, an ancient city southwest of Andes Lake, Titicaca. The city predates the arrival of Inca in that part of South America. While the temple itself is a mystery, it's more so the structure's complexity that has recently researchers baffled. It has finely cut doors and interlocking stone blocks that have no chisel marks. Thanks to radiocarbon dating, anthropology professor William Isbell from the University of Illinois believes Puma Punku was built between 500 and 600 AD. However, others aren't convinced and think it may have existed thousands of years earlier. One of the first modern explorers of the site, Arthur Poznanski, refers to its astronomical figures to date it to around 15,000 BC. Arthur believes the temple was built as a giant clock with the sun rising above the temple's center through an archway. It then moved along the horizon as the year progressed. While the age and purpose of this temple might be in question, what isn't is its build quality. The blocks are that precise that you can't fit a needle between them at any point. Number 1. The Nazca Line the Nazca Lines in Peru are considered one of the most beautiful ancient mysteries, and they've baffled archaeologists and researchers alike since their discovery in 1927. They are geoglyphs that are spread out over southern Peru's desert land and are easily identifiable from the air. While some have been made from piled up stones from as early as 500 BC, these are a little different. By removing red stones to reveal white limestone, the creators established drawings of monkeys, lizards, sharks, and other geometric designs. They are now a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Nazca lines spanned as large as 218 yards and were first discovered by a Peruvian archaeologist by the name of Toribio Meja Zespi. Toribio stumbled across them on foot, but as air traffic increased in the 1930s, people flocked from far and wide to see them, either in the sky or on the ground. No one knows for sure what they mean, which makes them even more mysterious. Some people believe they represent constellations, while others think they might link to pilgrimages. They also may serve an astronomical purpose, but we'll probably never know. If you were under the illusion that we had solved all the world's greatest mysteries, then you've now got proof we haven't. Have you seen any of these in person? Do you have any answers? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!